Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what does not, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal read, the details in my description box for my channel. And you can email me at asapcup0 at yahoo.com. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So we have light. These all came out sideways. So light, stop texting me. Sorry I'm late. I didn't want to come big. You're like asthma. You take my breath away and light. And then Mickey is juggling on that one. <clears throat> so something could be illuminated. Something could be brought to light. Um, someone may have cut off some sort of communication or broken some sort of tie, like broken up with someone maybe because somebody was not interested in it or somebody was like literally the big bad wolf. Um, or that was the persona or the energy that they carried. Um, somebody that was going to like huff and puff and blow your house down. So someone could just be like trying to get under your skin, irritate you. Um, <clears throat> somebody could have sent you a text. Something was illuminated. Um, but you didn't respond. You're like, eh, I didn't want to come anyway. Um, this could have to do with, um, a date, um, you know, somebody just trying to provoke you in some sort of way. You're like, asthma, you take my breath away and light, like you're juggling. Like somebody was trying to cause you to have like an anxiety or panic attack with some sort of message that they sent to you. This could, this could have to do with a house. This could be an ex. This could be anyone and anything, but somebody could have sent you a message and that was the intent. Someone sent you a message. They were trying to get to you. They were trying to get you to respond. They wanted to look like the big bad wolf, like all scary and invoke some sort of fear. And they were trying to cause you to have like a panic attack, but you're light, like you're juggling, like you're cool. Like you could be a master juggler. <clears throat> so, you know, a watched pot never boils. That's on the top there. So if, you know, you're being watched or something, you know, sometimes maybe you just give someone a show or maybe you refuse to do anything if you know people are sitting there staring at you, watching your every move, because it's nobody's fucking business what you're doing anyway. But, yeah, a watched pot never boils. So, <clears throat> someone was really trying to get under your skin. Don't put the cart before the horse in the reverse. So somebody, somebody was really getting ahead of themselves. Someone's not grounded. This is some sort of karmic energy. They lost their footing. They lost their balance. Revenge sounds mean. I like returning the favor. Um, you may have had to do a return to sender or you're going to do a return to sender or something's going to be returned back to this person because this person is very vengeful and spiteful. If Cinderella's shoe fit perfectly, why did it fall off? <clears throat> Someone's trying to provoke you and make you prove you are who you say you are or that you have the abilities that you can do. Like if you're a master juggler, like if you're good at multitasking, um, someone's like, okay, well, if you're so perfect, if you're this, if you're that, if you're so spiritual, if you're so religious, then why are these bad things happening to you? And they're the ones that are causing it or trying to provoke you or make it look like bad things are happening, but it's just because like they're a piece of shit. This could have to do with like a shitty ass landlord who refuses to do repairs. This could be a boy, an ex-boyfriend. Um, who is throwing rocks and hiding hands, you know, family members trying to sabotage you. I mean, it could literally be anything at this point. Tomorrow's the second chance in the reverse. So somebody did something more than once out of revenge and spite. They could have been threatening you multiple times. They thought something was wide open, but something is not wide. They, they had an opportunity to do something, but the chance has been narrowed down. They thought they were wide open to just do whatever the hell they wanted. And they thought that they would never have to pay for any consequences. Whoever this karmic energy is, they really still believe that there's no consequences for, for what they're doing. I didn't give you the finger. You earned it. Like, you just don't care. You're just like, eh, sit on it and spin. A rolling stone gathers no moss. You're not sitting there worried about what these crazy ass bitches are doing. Man, man or woman, it doesn't matter. If you obey all the rules, you miss all the fun. You may be tempted to break some rules. I, I just heard you may be tempted to put someone in a jar. And it's so funny because I've been seeing this on TikTok. Like, you've been good long enough. Put someone in a jar. Don't don't just start doing random shit, please. Like, just... <laughs> if you've never done it before, now, during retrograde, during all this solar stuff, now is not the time to start. Like, especially if you've never done it before. <clears throat> be careful. Be careful. 
the word no is power. Sometimes just saying no is all you need. You know what I'm saying? Use your words. Use your words. Someone wanted to be cold to you. Someone wanted you to just walk away, accept their bullshit. You know, you don't do that. And so I, I'm getting like this energy of someone turning around and like, what'd you say? Like, you know, it's like you're trying to walk away. You're trying to maintain the peace. Like you're trying to like um, diffuse the situation and then someone starts muttering under their breath and this is you like divine femur masculine I'm just seeing you like turn around like what did you just say like did you really just say that to me kind of energy like you're wide open you're like let's go home like, let's, let's go homie like, <laughs> you want to go let's go because someone's acting childish and you're just tired of it this is adults in the reverse these are people people who are adults that should have walked away when they had the chance. Adults is plural. So I'm going to assume that there's more than one person involved in this that should have walked away that are acting childish. And you're like, come on, let's do this. Like, let's, let's fucking go. Like, you got something to say? Let, let's do this. Now, now, some of you may have turned the other cheek or just, you know, acted like you didn't hear something. But some of y'all didn't. Some didn't. Some did not. <laughs> and I'm not saying that makes you any less of a bigger person. Because, you know, you can only, you know, take so much shit, you know, before you finally snap back on someone. And someone's not going to be expecting this snap back. Okay? And I, it, I kind of have to find it a little humorous because it's like, what did you just say to me? Like, even like a slow turnaround, like, and very calmly, like, not even like, aggressive or confrontational just like turning around like what'd you just say like did I hear you right oh my gosh like you are just your ability to remain calm cool and collected is just um amazing because someone was consumed with irritating you and causing you so much drama and just annoying the shit out of you to the point where they would like drive by your house probably and hang out their car window and scream some stupid immature shit. And these people are supposed to be grown ass adults. And if you're lucky, maybe you caught it on camera, especially if you have court coming up or something like that. You know, make sure you take all your pictures, your evidence, your recordings and, and let these fuckers know who they're dealing with. Especially if someone recently filed a court case or you have court coming up. Because someone's got their you targeted. Like you have been targeted. You have been selected. Whether this is a good thing or bad thing. And I feel like it's not necessarily a good thing. But Sagittarius could be significant. But there's someone who has you in their sights. Or a group of people that has you deadlocked. Like in their sights. But it can also be that someone has them in their sights because of this childish bullshit. So someone is zeroing in on another person. And it could be the fact that they're getting zeroed in on because something is coming to an end. This bullshit of them draining you time, money, energy, resources, death. Something is over because they didn't want to change. They didn't want to go through a rebirth. They wanted to stay um, childlike and not like that childlike innocence, like childlike immature, like grow the fuck up. Like how much lead paint did you eat as a child? Like that kind of energy, which is really disturbing, but you know, it happens. You hold the power. Virgo could be significant. You, you have power. You hold the power. Someone is in power, has someone in their sights with the hunt, the target, that Sagittarius energy and this Virgo energy, someone is deadlocked in on somebody. And this is someone who is in a position of power. And these people are just uh, ridiculous. <sighs> you could be resting, trying to spend time with your family. Someone may want to make a deal with you. These could be family members. This could be something to do with your family. Significant, like family court could be significant. Civil court could be significant here. Um, someone could be being brought up on some criminal charges because of this, whatever they did to a family. So you're resting easy, right? Because you know what you did was not illegal. You didn't do anything wrong. But what they did could rack them up on some criminal charges because they affected your family. They could have violated your civil rights, um, uh, harassment, stalking. Um, inhumane living conditions, shit like that. Like just ridiculous childish shit just to rip you off, steal from you, rob you, 
for some of you possibly tried to unalive you and make you look, make it look like an accident so they didn't have to face the consequences for what they've done but if you're smart you keep duplicates of your shit and someone else has a copy of your your stuff so if you're going through anything <clears throat> That has been coming up sometimes in some of my readings, like with the gang stalking, the unaliving, the harassment. Make sure you document everything and make sure someone else has a copy of it and make sure they know if anything happens to you, they go straight to the authorities and tell them who, what, why, where, when, and how and get their asses. Because these motherfuckers are going to pay one way or another and you're going to be their karma. This is the end of this shit. Like, this is end. It's over. It's done. It's played out. Get ready to be wind and dine. you got better things to do. Maybe you have a date planned. Maybe you have something coming up. <clears throat> Maybe that's why they're amping up their bullshit. Especially if they have some sort of tracking, listening devices, cameras, whatever the case. You know, someone could know that you have... Um, this was a lot that came out. You could have a date night coming up. You could be getting ready to move. Change of residence. Moving in with your partner. <clears throat> You know, someone wants to make sweet, sweet love to you. You're enjoying yourself. Even if you're going through all this chaos and bullshit, you know how important it is to take care of you. Cleanse your energy. Make sure you, you know, make sure you're good internally. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be significant. Someone was a narcissist. They needed to let some shit go. Give it time. Everything will, everything is in divine timing. Let it flow. Something is going to happen at just the right time. To let these fuckers know they're not just messing with you. They're messing with the other things as well. You'll be traveling soon. Vacation. There's been a lack of communication here. Compromise, forgive, work it out. Someone doesn't want to communicate. They didn't want to communicate. You may have tried to communicate with this person. Work something out. Work out a deal. Negotiate. Like, just chill the fuck out kind of thing. <clears throat> you're moving on. Someone's available, unavailable. It's a waste of time. They didn't want to compromise with you. They didn't want to work something out. They didn't want to stop being childish. Yes, luck is on your side, okay? For these adult children, you luck is on your side because of the shit they keep doing. Fire sign Aries, Leo, Sag is significant. Commitment. Things are getting serious. Someone wants to be committed to you or you're just committed to living life, being yourself. There's a commitment here. Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So someone may want to come towards you and offer you commitment. Be careful about that, about entering into contracts during this time. Challenges, make a decision, work on inner healing. So someone may want to come towards you and offer you a commitment. Someone may want you to move in with them, possibly even propose to you. Um, be careful. Someone may still have some inner healing or some work to do. Um, there could also be some communication issues. Some, maybe this person already proposed to you um, or things were just starting to get serious. And then maybe recently there's been a lot of fighting or altercations um, because someone has some things that need to be addressed. Um, it could just be a form of miscommunication. Okay. Like this is that time for misunderstandings, you know, review everything. Um, like sometimes technology has... Um, the habit of malfunctioning, like if someone sends you a text message or something, maybe you didn't get it, um, you know, something significant like that, that does happen. So someone could have gotten upset. There could have been an altercation because someone sent a text message and someone else never received it. Um, so that could have caused problems within a commitment or some sort of deal or agreement. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> Just be a little patient. So when you turn around and you say, what did you say? Just make sure. Be chill about it. Just be chill. Make sure they know you stand on business. But. <laughs> but. Don't. Don't go to jail. <laughs> when you're all ready to go out. But realize you have no money, no plans, and no friends. Okay. So someone wants you to know that that's the case. It's like if your confidence is high, if you feel good about yourself, someone wants you to know you're nothing. You're never going to be nothing. You got no money. You got no plans. You got no friends. What are you going to do now? And you're like, what did you just say? What? Do you even fucking know me, Skanko? Like, oh, man. Like someone's got um, an eye-opening experience that's going to happen for them during this season, during this retrograde. And it's not over. We still got a little bit. So... 
I don't even think it's official. I don't even know if it's officially started. I think it might have officially started, but someone someone's going to have an eye-opening experience here. And it's not going to be that Venus Aries lovey. Um, yeah, this isn't the bow chicka bow bow. This is like a spiritual R-ing because of how they've been spiritually R-ing you. It's like, it's like what happens to... Um, Chumos in prison once they get convicted and you know those guys don't take too kindly to people who do stuff to women and children on the outside and then when it happens to them it's a different story you know what I'm saying when you're pissing in a pool and have to pretend like you're not pissing in a pool so someone is pretending like you know like you're just like going about your business nonchalantly like some of you are just ignoring what's going on like you just like what the fuck ever like I, I'm not dealing with your stupid ass bullshit like you're just it doesn't even bother you when your daughter tells you she wish, wishes she did you didn't exist. So they could have hit you where it hurt, okay? So they could have, you know, hit you on a low blow. It's like they really, really, whatever this message was, whether it was a text, communication, driving by your house, yelling out their window, like sending a pigeon, whatever the dumbass bullshit was, DMs, IMs, instant messenger, Facebook messenger, whatever the case. Someone really tried to hit you where it hurt. And they were expecting you to react. And all you did was you either ignored them or you just turned around and you're just like, what? Excuse me? Am I supposed to be offended? Because a piece of shit is calling me a, you know, like, oh, you, you kept your grace and your dignity, okay? When all your classmates are eating Lunchables, but your mom packed you organic cottage cheese and baby carrots. So someone may be mad because they're like 50 pounds heavier than you. And they have to eat and diet and, like, starve to death. And you could be the kind of person that eats whatever you want. And, like, maybe you gain just a couple pounds. You know, like, that's been coming out of, you know, like, you know, people doing spell work, beauty, magic, whatever. It's like somebody was hoping that you would gain, like, 100 pounds and, like, be so unattractive. And you're still getting attention. You still have dates. You know, like, you look good. Like, I don't care what skin color you are, what shape you are. There are people who think you look good, and there's a good chance that you may be looking forward to a date in the near future because date night came out sideways. That's now near future. Not that it's anybody's business. You may not even advertise it. That's fine. It shouldn't matter. But it really bothers this person. Like, how the hell can I eat five cookies and gain 20 pounds, and this bitch is over here eating Arby's and McDonald's and whatever, and she's only gained like 10? <clears throat> When you when your chip breaks in your salsa, <laughs> someone go get some hacienda or Mexican food. Someone Latina, Latino could be. Someone could be of Latin descent. Oh man! When you're watching Chopped and the chef decides to make a vinaigrette with less than a minute left, so something's going down to the wire. Something is down to the wire. And so it's like someone wants to stress you out more than anything so that you can't focus. You have a deadline. There's something you need to accomplish that's coming up. You have, you have to get things done and you're doing it in an order. And this person's trying to frazzle you and fuck up your plans, fuck up your shit, fuck up your energy. And you're just like, you know, an evil bitch. Like you just don't even care. But it really bothers this person to no end because they want you to care. Like so, so bad. They really want you to care. Um, should I, let's, let's check out my Pink Floyds first. Someone really wants you to give a shit about their opinion and you don't. Yeah, let's make a deal. Partnership, deal, contracts. Someone's going to have to negotiate because someone was a naughty girler boy and I'm getting a strong, jealous ass, feminine, crazy one. Like, um, you know, the kind that likes to show up with a posse in your front yard and scream obscenities and crazy shit like at you. Like when you're, you know, out with your kids or something. Lusty busty here. Someone may want to come into partnership or make a deal with someone because they've been seduced by your mind or your body. This could also be someone who is secretly sexually attracted to you and you've painted a pretty picture of what life could be, you know. You, you have a beautiful canvas going on. Mm. You jiggle in all the right places is what I heard. Like you just <laughs> Ooh, come to Papa. Somebody likes it. Somebody likes. 
Somebody has been seduced by you, by the canvas, the portrait, the picture. That It's like the whole frame of reference, everything about you. Someone is just um, drawn in. You're like a magnet right now. And someone wants to partner up with you, and someone else is just so pissed off about it. So, so pissed. And jealous and envious. Ooh. That color green does not look good on you, honey. It really does not look good on you. Well, you think just because you have a job and a man, do you know your man's trying to fuck everyone on the block? <laughs> I mean, come on now. Someone is so mad at you. So, so mad. Just because they have a husband, they think they're better than you. I don't know. This person could be married because I'm just getting that. Like, you know, I have a job. I have a husband. I have a nice car. My kids do have this. They have that. Like, someone really thinks they're better than you. Maybe you're dirt ass poor, but you make it look good. You don't stink. You smell good. Their man wants to fuck you, and that pisses them off. Like, how would you want to get Ashley on the air mattress kind of bitch? Like, how dare you want to cheat? You know, like that kind of shit. But that's because you're a good person and you're not a piece of shit person. And this person is obviously attracted to your energy because you're not a dickhead. Like, I mean, <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> I don't retract a fucking thing. Uh... Yeah, this bitch was telling everyone that you were out sleeping around with everybody. Someone's got a lot of notches in their bedpost. This person wanted everyone to think that you were a hoe, that you were nasty. That just made this chick's husband want you all the more. You think that's really going to just... <laughs> The worst thing you could do to a man, okay, if you're married to them, that bitch is a whore, she's a skank, she spreads for anyone and everything. The first thing on that dude's mind is, where's my, can I get on that list? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Why the fuck would you do this shit? And then you're pissed off because someone wants to work with this person and it could even be your spouse. Yo, and no, I'm not condoning cheating. I'm not saying anything, but this is a crazy ass bitch who's making a divine femme's life a living hell because she's jealous and envious and spiteful. And so she went around and said that this person was a host, slept with everybody, and then she got all pissed off when her husband wanted to be one of them or whoever she is, whether they're in a committed relationship. She doesn't have to be married to him, but I'm just strongly getting that energy that this person feels like their life is so put together and this, that. So I, I just have to assume that this person is in a committed relationship, a serious long-term relationship, or married, and, like... You're not, and the person wants to sleep with you. Lusty, busty, I'm telling you. This seduction energy, someone wants to sleep with you so bad, and it could even be this female who wants to sleep with you. Someone's bite. God damn it, I knew it. Her and her husband want to sleep with you so bad. So, so bad. This could be a crazy-ass landlord or something, like a neighbor. I don't know, like... I'm getting someone in your neighborhood. Someone in your neighborhood. Someone wants to partner up with you. Like a bisexual and partner. Lusty, busty, seduction energy. Someone's out of resources, so they hit a brick wall and you're entering into a new cycle. So, oh man. So you may be poor, okay? So you may be out of resources. And maybe they thought that they could proposition you and offer you some money. You know what that's called? Prostitution, honey. And, you know, certain areas that's legal. But, um, I, I don't know. Someone was trying to drain you of your resources. And they hit a brick wall. So it's like they, they were trying to steal from you and rob you. But they also want to sleep with you in this... I don't, I just read the cards, man. This three, three way energy keeps coming out in so many different ways. And I feel like this is a different situation than the last one. So I don't know what crazy shit's going on. This solar, shit, that Venus energy is hot. And she's hot with you because she hates you, but she wants to fuck you too. And she's pissed because her husband wants to fuck you. Damn. But they want to steal your resource. They want to drain you dry or bleed you of your resources. Oh, someone, there's a message here. There's a message. There's some sort of communication. It's like, all right, if you won't fuck me and my husband, I'm going to make your life a living hell. If you won't let us rob you and you, you know, like maybe these people are trying to extort you for money. Like I'm seriously getting some crazy ass landlord shit. That's like trying to force someone into like some sort of sexual relationship with them. 
and like you turned them down or something and so like they're trying to rob you and make your life a living hell because they don't want you to tell anyone how fucking crazy they are and they might not have even come out and just told you you just know because of the crazy shit they're doing right they may have made like they may have made like some crazy ass comments when they were at your house like working on something you know like <sighs> like fishing, you know, like dropping hints, like, I'm not lazy, I'll do this, I do that, like, someone's just doing too much, y'all are just doing too much, juggling all those balls, y'all need, <laughs> it might be the man who's bisexual, I don't know, there's a lot of balls being jiggled, juggled, <laughs> just, Jesus. Oh, I just are jiggle my balls, Oh my god, this is so not appropriate. So not appropriate. Maybe someone's gonna send a message asking you to jiggle their... Uh, oh my god. Play with their balls. I don't know, man. Someone... Someone wants to make a deal. Like, hey, I'll get Psycho Bitch off of you if you come, like, tickle my desk. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. It's too funny. This this shit is just insane. This is just crazy to me. Let's let's see what Garfield has to say. Let's see just how unhappy these people are in their situation ship they got going on. Um yeah, places to go, people to annoy. Someone was being annoying on purpose. To make your dreams come true, you have to stay awake. So someone who, you know, isn't getting the attention that you are. I'm less thirsty ass motherfucker came out sideways. That's now someone wants you so bad. They're left looking like a fool. They're not getting a clean slate. They're trying to make their dreams come true off of you. And someone is thirsty as hell. Someone is thirsty as hell. Look at that. Yeah, like, love drunk. Someone is, like, love drunk, dopamine drunk. Like, a, man. Someone could be under the influence of something and, like, all of a sudden you randomly get a message or a text or something and they're all of a sudden, like, hey, man, you want me to come over and, like, finally fix that leaky sink you've had or those drain clogs, you know? I, I can be your plumber. Do you need that drain unclogged? Like... <laughs> they're not talking about the house boo they are not talking about the house when they're talking about this that much i can promise you they are not propositioning you to come fix your house pipes they're wanting to fix some other pipes and do something with their own but someone's left scratching their ass because they someone's just trying to squeeze you for money they're trying to catch you up. They're trying to set you up. But someone really is thirsty and after your ass. It's like they're trying to set you up and make you look like you're a prostitute. Because they already told everyone you're a fuck, you're a whore. Like, you know, all those beds that was on that one picture. They already said you're a whore, right? And they're left scratching their ass because they're trying to squeeze money out of you. And it's like, um, why the fuck, like, is you dumb or stupid? Like, you're trying to extort me or blackmail me for money and, like... And you're thirsting after, like, who the fuck are these people? You're so thirsty, you want the the boom boom, but you're trying to steal money? Someone lacks willpower, willpower is overrated in the reverse. Someone did not exercise willpower, um, you know, someone needed to be cautious, you know, have a little self-control. Someone is just disgusting, like someone could be disgusted by the person they're with because they have no self-control, maybe they're gained a little bit of weight maybe both of them gained a little weight maybe these this married couple are like lazy together and sit around eating junk food all day and night. i don't know you could be disgusted by this person you know and they're just annoying and trying to sleep with you but they're so thirsty so so thirsty Oh, I'm not lazy. I'm motivationally challenged. This motherfucker is doing his best. Like, I'm not, I told you someone was trying to convince you, like, someone was coming over and, like, doing some work around the yard or, or, like, you know, even, like, a neighbor, like, so, hey, how's it going? Like, you know, I'm not lazy. I just like my junk food, you know? Like, you see me outside all the time working on the yard, doing this, that, and the other. Like, I'm trying to get your attention, but it's, like, 
Are you kidding me? This person tried to convince you that they're not lazy and all this and, and all that, but like... Uh, foiled again. Sorry, until next time. Their plans are foiled, okay? They're not getting this money they think they're going to squeeze out of you because they're frauds, they're scammers. Make sure you have duplicates. Make sure, you know, someone that you trust has duplicates of all this shit. Because they're going to try to take you for a ride. Someone wanted to be worshipped. Someone thought they were king of the castle. Home is where they understand you. Someone wanted you to be possibly kicked out of a home. Or, you know, you're not lazy around your home. They could have, you know, someone could have said you were lazy. You don't take care of your house. That's how they are. Maybe the person they're with is, you know, just sits on the couch eating bonbons all day. Like, but they don't look like Peggy Bundy. They look more like Roseanne. No disrespect. Nothing against it. I'm just saying, like... You and whoever they're married to are complete opposites, and that's why this female hates you, but she's also in love with you. She's, she, I'm just hearing, like, yeah, I'd fuck the bitch, too. Like, she, but she'll never say it. She, she'll never say it. But somebody does. And I feel like both of them do. Somebody wanted some, some three-on-one, you know, like, some three, three-way action. I don't want to say three-on-one, because then that would be four, but, um... Yeah, somebody wanted some threesome, threesome actions here going on. Oh my god! All right, let's see what's going on. These crazy ass people. Anything? No, not out of that one. Let's check this one. So there was a group of people here that were scrambling to do something because someone made a decision and they celebrated too soon this feminine energy. I told you there's a crazy bitch here somewhere. Did I not tell you there's a crazy bitch here somewhere? Wife, lover, mother. This is someone's wife. This is someone's wife. And um, this person had a whole group of people doing something and she made a decision you know, this group made a decision to attack someone and they celebrated having a victory. They're like, yep, we got her now. All because this, this person can't live up to whatever divine femme is. Like, you know, poor broke Ashley sleeping on an air mattress can't compare to this girl and her cushy life, you know, because she's got it so well. So the fuck what? At least she has an air mattress to sleep on if y'all quit poking holes in it when she's not home. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all keep going into this person's place and fucking with their shit, sending a group of people to terrorize this person and think this shit's not going to catch up to you? Okay. All right. And then then your man's trying to screw her on top of it? Y'all are fucking crazy. Y'all deserve to be locked up. There's there's no joke. There's someone here working on their nine of pentacles. You know, you've been working on your abundance, your financial stability. Things are starting to grow for you. They're going to be, you know, you're going to be getting that fruit. King of pentacles is gold digging ass man. Trying to squeeze you for money with his, whoever that is, juggling. Trying to juggle you and this person. I feel like you turned him down. And, and maybe you didn't. Okay, so, I don't know. Maybe you entertained it for like five seconds. I don't know. There's some juggling here. So, for some of y'all, maybe you took him up on their offer just to prove to that psycho bitch. Like, I don't. Did y'all do it? Did y'all do it? Because there's juggling here. Um... Did y'all do it just to teach her a lesson? Is she about to find out the hard way? Are y'all about to have one of their babies? Oh, well, the Wheel of Fortune's on your side, but they're not moving on to Karma Waters. They're, they, their troubles haven't even begun because of this juggling shit. The air mattress, Ashley, fuck up. <laughs> Proper Brittany. <laughs> Brittany, Whitney, whoever your name is. Oh, my God. Financial balance is going to be restored. You're going to be good. I mean, I don't... These people, like, they didn't want to grow up. They wanted to act childish. These people could have children in on this, you know. And you're just alone. Like, that's a challenge here is, like, you're trying to be alone and hermit, you know, heal. Just minding your business. These motherfuckers need to be worried about taking care of their own children and growing up instead of acting immature. They never grew up. There was no growing up with these people. They refuse. 
I don't know. They need to lay off the lead paint, man. Maybe they were drinking the fucking rust contaminated water or some shit. I don't know. It's like they're brain dead. No disrespect to anyone who is. I'm just saying. Know your limits. Boy, your asses end up in jail. And Air Mattress Ashley's getting child support from your baby daddy. <laughs> Y'all better calm down with that shit. You juggling, you juggling. These people, this married couple thinks they got it so great until Air Mattress Ashley comes out with a baby. Where's my child support? You thought you were ripping Air Mattress Ashley off? No, boo. No, she's got your number. Something's over. There's someone was at a crossroads here because there is an empress here in the upright and the wheel of fortune is on their side. This is the divine femme energy. Fuck around and find out she'll own your ass. <laughs> and she'll be wifey number two. Keep that shit up. He'll take half your shit when he leaves you and give it to her. <laughs> Damn, Ashley, where'd you get all that shit? <laughs> He wanted to fuck around and find out. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, someone admires someone, though. There's some sort of admiration going on. Thirsty, lusty man. Mm -mm -mm. But someone admires you. They admire you. It may be secretly. but it's so, And here's the challenge here. It's a secret, and this person hurt you. They were trying to hurt you, and they're keeping this a secret the whole time. It's like they didn't... For some of you. For some of you, it's still a secret. Okay. Um, for some of you, it's it's not a secret. You actually did sleep with the man, and this woman's pissed off because, um, you know, she could have a feeling or inkling about something, and she was trying to do something to you and cause you some sort of harm, but then her man is like, got this secret thing going on. So, you know, this could be very painful for um, Brittany. Brittany or Tiffany, and no disrespect with anyone, you know, to those names. My kids like the movie White Chicks. Like, my, my youngest daughter, that's, like, her favorite movie. She loves it. So, she's always like, Brittany, Tiffany, you said it, but you were thinking it. Like, she likes to do that with me. I told you. Competition. I told you. Brittany and Ashley are about to have it out in the trailer park. What the fuck? <laughs> It's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. Ashley, Air Mattress Ashley's about to show y'all. You don't fuck with her, man. She, she, I don't care what color skin she's got. She's about to fuck you up. This emperor, man, he got himself in some trouble, okay? By having someone in a competition... You know, his baby mama with another possible baby mama. Um, you know, he's got that wife going. Yeah, someone's being sneaky and stealthy. These betrayals. He's trying to sneak around being all, like, stealthy about it. Uh, someone's about to have a victory because Ashley's about to... And I'm just using that as an example. I, I'm trying to keep them separated here. <laughs> you know. Um... Someone's getting that love offer, and it's it's not it's not the mm, mm, it's this high priestess. Air mattress Ashley's a high priestess. I hate to break it to you. I don't care how broken poor this person is. I don't care how much y'all make this person's life a hell. I don't care how much you call this person a whore. She's a she's a she's a she's a what she's a what she's a, she's a high priestess, and she's getting recognition, awards, accolades. And a new start or a new beginning because someone's rushing in with some sort of truth. I don't. I want you. I want to be with you. And they're starting a new cycle. They're they're wanting to start. This person's wanting to start a cycle with Air Mattress Ashley, the High Priestess, to clean up a betrayal. Because poor Ashley's been fighting off all this conflict on her own, but not anymore. Two of Cups. Not anymore, Boo. I got you. I think she's crazy, too. Let's hook up. <laughs> He's like, try being married to that crazy bitch. <laughs> Need I say more? Need I say more? 
But I'm going to. Let's see what else. If there's anything else. This has been a fun one. I mean, it's funny, but not funny. Like, it, it is. She's a, she's a crazy bitch, man. She slept with someone you know. I'm sure you do know her. You're gold digger. Yeah, you're a gold digger. Yeah. This gold digger slept with someone you know. This gold digging masculine that you're married to. Slept with Air Mattress Ashley that you're so worried about. That you've been trying to, like, pester, annoy, run out of the neighborhood. Call the police on. All that crazy shit. <clears throat> Yeah, someone's crazy. I know how to use crazy. I don't care if this bitch is a high priestess. I wouldn't fuck with her if I were you. That's all I'm going to say about that. What did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Someone was being controlled by spirits when they did this shit. This stupid bitch. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I feel butterflies near you and I would punch you. So this person, someone could have been being controlled by lustful spirits, you know, seduction spirits. You know, their spell work backfired if they were trying to make you look like a prostitute and did spell work on you to have people attracted to you, to have people running in and out of your home. Oh, there was someone running in and out of your home, but it was this bitch's husband. I, I, I'm not making it up. I feel butterflies near you. This, this dude couldn't stay away from you. And that's why this bitch wants to get physical with you and punch you. And you're just like, yeah, whatever. I didn't do shit. You're just chilling at your house, minding your business. You're not chasing that person down. You're not running anyone down. You didn't... This motherfucker's trying to climb in your window at night, not the other way around. He's the one sneaking out of his house, you know what I'm saying? I only want you, baby. I only want you. There could be some good cops to law officials getting involved in this because there's been rumors going around about some shit. Um, like I said, they could have called the cops. They could have tried to say you were running prostitution. They were trying to squeeze you for money. This dude's a gold digger, you know, he's kind of lazy, you know, but maybe the D is fire. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Someone, someone entertained it. Otherwise this bitch wouldn't be so pissed off. Um, or maybe she just assumed you did, but someone is anxious. Someone is nervous about some rumors going around. About her man coming up, sneaking up over to your house. That's why she's trying to run you out of the neighborhood so much. Because he keeps... If you guys are neighbors or something. Or like your landlord or something. You notice these people like going by your house. Especially this dude. And you notice it like more than usual. Like if you have other neighbors or something. Like you know that these people aren't driving by their house. Like other people's houses as much as they're driving by yours. But particularly it's the dude. Not so much the female. Although that happens too. But pay, that dude is like, mm-hmm. And someone's anxious because you're telling the truth and you're not making shit up. And someone needs to pay attention to their health, this person who's lying on you, because she's going to end up with the diabetes. And I say that that way on purpose. I know it's diabetes. I like to, my kids, we have, our, we have our fun jokes. That's my oldest daughter's thing. She likes to call it diabetes because of that commercial. Um, yeah, pay attention to your health. This person who's lying about you needs to pay attention to their own health because, uh, I'm seeing some blood clots. Some blood clots could be significant. Um, high blood pressure could be significant for this person because they're so spiteful and pissed off all because someone was lusting after you and you just consider someone like a booty call. You're like, Hey, I'm single. You know, you want, you want, you know, I, I got nothing going on. You want to sneak in my window? You go right ahead. Just to be spiteful, you did this. And you know what? I'm not mad at you for it. Like, I'm not mad at you. Like, I'm not judging you. This crazy bitch lied about you, said you were a whore, tried to get you arrested. If her man's sneaking in your window and you, you know, out of spite, you know, let him hit it. That's, you know, that's not my business, not my problem. But I'm not going to say I'm not going to laugh about it. I mean, you can get pissed if you want. Someone was taking credit for someone else's work and they're frazzled. So maybe this person started acting like you, trying to steal your work. You know, they're not as good as you. Um, they could have tried to copy you, imitate you, maybe even what you eat. So that their husband would be like, you know, interested in them again. They're frazzled because they, they could know. Because someone knows the truth. And I feel like this person knows. 
And I feel like they've been doing some spell work on you and you had to do a return to sender. Something's going to be returned back to this person in the next one to two weeks. Because you do have someone helping behind the scenes. Just saying. Especially if you all have a court case coming up. Like if these are like your landlords and someone abused their power. Or they're trying to extort you, blackmail you. You know, all's fair in love and war. Like, you know, they didn't have any problems doing you kind of dirty. Trying to ruin your life, literally. And I did a lot of laughing in this reading because some of the shit is just too funny. Because, you know, you get what you put out, right? <clears throat> you wish bad stuff on other people. When it comes back to you and that return to sender happens, you know, mind your own business. Mind your own, tend to your own garden. Something significant could be happening in the next 24 to 48 hours with an Aquarius. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. You know? Yeah. Yo, Tyrell, didn't you say you wanted to hit it the other day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are just too much with this shit. Like, this is just... This is, like, the funny side of Springer. This is, like, awesome. Cry me a river. Yeah, someone's gonna be crying. Mmm... Yep, I got some main notes work to do over yonder, you know. Something significant about March. So someone pulled some slick shit in March and they created a perfect storm. Someone's birthday could be March. Pisces, Aries could be significant. I said that and Pisces was right under that. So Pisces, Aries could be significant, you know. It is what it is. There's something significant with January. With a Virgo and a Taurus. That one's blank. And then Monday with a Sagittarius and a Leo. And to get a little more specific, UVWXYZ. I told you Whitney was involved in this shit, didn't I? Water sign Cancer Scorpio Pisces. September, December with an Aries. This is just too funny. Even the W came out. I must be. Someone's name's got to be Whitney. Someone's got to be Whitney. <laughs> Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Because you're sharp as a tack. You know, and these people were thieves by hook or crook. You know, you can run, but you can't hide. They're going to be hitting the panic button, you know. Because you're leveling up. Something's about to get escalated on a Friday with a Taurus. Something's about to escalate. <laughs> I just heard that song, Regulate. Someone better call the regulator. Capricorn could be significant here. No guts, no glory. Someone really did not think this through with the Virgo. So Capricorn and Virgo, someone didn't want to see the light. And they did not get something done in time. And you know what? To add insult to injury, um, you're going to be breathing a sigh of relief in the springtime. You know... Maybe you'll be showing up on their doorstep with a pregnancy test instead of, you know, an Aquarius and a Pisces are spinning their wheels because they wanted to be a wolf at your door. They were pissed off huffing and puffing and being a dick in July. Started some drama. Yeah. Someone let the cat out of the bag, though, that they were trying to have you arrested or the cat's being let out of the bag. Someone could be getting arrested in July and time is of the essence. Okay. These people are not pure as driven snow. They're about to get a huge wake-up call. And Aquarius, once again, man, Aquarius, water sign, heavy. Well, that's not a water sign, but, like, the Aquarius, the water, and then the water signs that keep coming out, really heavy. Really heavy earth signs. Aquarius is air, air sign. Like, all the all these signs are fire, air, like, there's all kind. every sign is, someone under every sign is, um... In on this shit. But, the, you know, to be fair, there was a group effort. Virgo, again, has the wisdom of the ages on a Monday. Let's close this shit out. It's just too much. 
I had fun with this one, though. I'm not gonna lie. Brittany, Whitney, whoever you are, leave Air Mattress Ashley alone. Air Mattress Ashley. You. She doesn't need your shit. She's gonna be having your baby daddy baby anyway. Calm the fuck down. I. A. That's also my snotty teenager voice when I play babies with my kids. There's a little girl. It's like a little figurine this this big. She's got blue hair, and her name is Vicky. So I started talking like this one day, and that is Vicky. And she's such a snobby little brat, and she just hates these babies. And she just, like, she gets stuck with them all the time. And so I started talking like that one day, and it just stuck. Now my kids make me talk like that all the time. D. That's my snobbish voice. G. Z. Why? Because I gotta. Zay. Zayla. Zaysha. X. Zayla with a Z or an X. Zena. Zay. Zoe. <sighs> M. There was a whole lot of science. There were a whole lot of science. T. Darius could be significant. Darion. Damon. Damien. Damien or Damon. Damon. Demon. I don't know. D. Someone could have some double Ds going on. M. Someone's DMing. So I'm telling you, someone's about to get a message. Someone's about to get someone all up in their messages. That was an E. I had my hand and it fell back in there. W again. Jeez, Whitney, get out of this shit. All right, last two. F and O. Fuck off, crazy. All right, we've had fun. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good night.